Mizuma TV back with some more boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Shout out to New Media. All that good shit, man. Shout out to all the subscribers, too, man. I'm seeing that I'm starting to get like a little slight increase. So I must be doing something right, man. Shout out to y'all. Now, what I want to talk about is something that I haven't really been seeing, seeing getting posted. I don't know if it's because it's women's boxing or um, I don't know what it is. but Or maybe it's just not a popular topic because of all the things that's going on right now people still talking about spence porter you know what i mean um but anyway according to boxing scene um heather hardy who just came off of a loss against amanda serrano um has tested positive she tested positive for a diuretic you know what i'm saying um it's called lasix and a lot of people use it who have like uh high blood pressure uh failure with the liver and all types of shit like that pretty much it's a water pill and um it's supposed to make you lose weight you know what i'm saying it's, and it usually works within an hour's time and um that's that when it comes to peds man that's why i like to look at exactly what's being used you know what i'm saying um like for example i don't how i don't hold the diuretic as high as i will hold a ped that will make somebody faster or um, increase their endurance and shit like that. Like, um, the way I'm looking at Heather Hardy is not the same way that I would look at a Gerald Miller or Alexander Povetkin. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel like Heather Hardy had a tough time making the weight. You know what I mean? I, well, that's apparent. You know what I mean? Jay Leon Love got caught for the same thing. He got, he, he got caught using a diuretic. Maybe he had trouble making the weight in that camp. You know, shit happens. You know what I mean? Does it make it excusable for them to use this? Absolutely not. Not at all. But um, Heather Hardy, she fights at 126. You know what I mean? Maybe she had trouble getting those last few pounds off, so she figured she could get away with it. Apparently, it didn't go in her favor. Um, she may she may have to pay a fine, um, or they might suspend her. i seen on BoxRec, she's suspended by the commission indefinitely. So maybe that's the uh, consequence she has to follow, uh, she has to receive. Um, maybe that's how they're going to punish her, you know what I mean? But um, I knew from the rip that she wasn't going to be Amanda Serrano, you know what I mean? I've I seen her fight in the Barclays. I've seen her fight uh, under Adrian Broner and um, Jesse Vargas undercard, you know what I mean? Shortly before Charlo and Tank got up and did they think. Um I knew she didn't do well with pressure. I seen her clearly lose against a journey man or a journey woman, whatever you, you want to call it. Um, I seen her clearly lose. They gave her the unanimous decision somehow. You know what I mean? So I knew from them when I seen her and her uh, inability to handle pressure, I knew that she wasn't going to be able to defeat Amanda Serrano. And from what I saw, I didn't get to see like the whole fight. I saw some clips. Um, that's exactly what happened. Amanda Serrano applied the pressure. And uh, Heather, uh, Heather Hardy wasn't able to weather the storm. You know what I mean? So um, did her taking that PED help her at all? Evidently not, because she left the ring with a L. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me know what y'all guys think. Uh, are you guys giving Heather Hardy a pass? So she be punished like a Gerald Miller? Leave your thoughts and opinions below, man. This is Mizuma TV. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the boy, and I'm out.